In this guide, I'm going to walk through how to work with multiple versions of keyword arguments in Ruby 3. And I'm going to show you how you can define required keyword arguments and then also how you can set up for and then check for optional arguments in a method. So I'm going to build out a registration method here. So I'm going to call it registration. And let's start off with basic keyword arguments. So I'm going to say email and then password. And I'm going to set them up just like this. Now inside of here, I'm simply going to print out what we're doing. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put building account for and then do the email. And we're not even going to worry about the password because in a real life example, we would never actually print out a password or anything secure like that. I'm simply showing you how you can pass in multiple data points. And also, hopefully, this will kind of give you an idea for how this could be applied in a real life application, because I actually took this code and parts of it from a real life application that I was building out. So we have this registration method, and now let's just call it like a regular method. So I'm going to call registration and pass in email. And I'm going to do Jordan at example.com. And then for the password, we'll just pass in anything here. And then if we run this, then it should print out what we would expect. It says building account for jordan at example.com. So that is a standard way of setting up a keyword argument. Now, what happens though, if you have a registration method and you want the ability to pass in any type of argument that you may have. So say for example, you may wanna have a standard registration method, but you may also wanna pass in some optional values. So like say that maybe in some times you want to have a role and then other times you may want to have like a plan, like the package that they purchased if this is some type of software that they have to buy. And you don't always want to have values here. So these are going to be optional. Only sometimes you'll have a role and sometimes you'll have a plan. Well, you wouldn't want to create different methods. You wouldn't want to do something like, you know, say this is going to be the, you know, registration, like this is going to be the uh, standard registration that only takes an email and a password and then this is the big registration or whatever you're going to call these you wouldn't want to do that that'd be kind of a bad way of writing the code what we can do is we can use keyword arguments and pass in any values that we want and the syntax for doing that in ruby 3 is to use two asterisks and then you can use any name you want. The standard convention is to say K-W-A-R-G-S. And this stands for keyword arguments. But we could call this anything we want. We could call it ASDF. We could call it X. We could call it whatever we want. If you have something that maybe is more specific, so maybe you do have a set of roles or you know something like that. You can call it anything you want. The important thing from a syntax perspective is to put those two asterisks there. So we're gonna do two asterisks and I'm gonna follow the convention. I'm gonna say, these are our keyword arguments. And then I'm gonna say building the account, I'm gonna, I'll keep that in there. And then now I'm gonna perform a check. So now what I can do is I can say if, keyword arguments, and you don't have to do the double asterisks there, you can just say if keyword arguments and if keyword arguments has the role, then I want to print this out and say with role, and then I'm going to grab that role. And we're using the hash syntax. So you can access these values by saying the name of the variable, and then inside of brackets, you call a symbol and then call whatever you have the name 
defined as. So in this case, it is role. So let's see how this works without us actually changing our method. So right here, notice I didn't add in a role value. So let's see what happens if I print this out. And you can see nothing has changed, which is perfect because what this means is we can use this as a standard registration method and we don't have to change anything at all. But now what happens if we do run into a situation where now we have someone who is an admin or they have some role we want to pass in. Now we can say role admin. And now if I print this out, now you can see it says building account for Jordan at example.com with role admin. Beautiful. That's doing exactly what we want. And the cool thing is here, we didn't actually have to change any of these values. We simply said that we have these keyword arguments and we can pass in any set of options that we want. So we could add on to this. We could say if the keyword arguments includes plan, like they purchased with something. And we could say with plan and then here print out that plan. Now what we can do is once again, if we run this exactly like it is, it's only going to print out building the account and then with role admin because we haven't passed in that other value. But if we go down to line 16 and add something new, we could say plan. And then here we could say, you know, super deluxe package. And now if we run this, as you might expect, now it's actually printing that out. So that's pretty cool. And obviously in a real life example, what you'd be doing here is say this was in a Rails application. You might be calling some database. You might be saying, okay, then this is gonna have the user that we found and then create role and then you'll you would pass in the role that you were creating so you'd make like a, a database call right there and this would only happen if that got passed in to that keyword argument list so hopefully that kind of is starting to make sense on situations when you'd want to use keyword arguments and also what the syntax is for using this optional set of arguments in Ruby 3, because this is one of the differences between earlier versions of Ruby and Ruby 3, is how you can deal with keyword arguments.